Hello everybody, I am Heba Hassan and today let's come together with a new new tips and tricks and today we will talk about um, removing the markers in the chroma new chroma here we have different different ways of removing markers in the nook in the chroma inside nook so we will talk about three ways of removing the chroma uh, markers very very easily very very quick um, to help us doing our work very very fast and clean let's take this video here okay it's very easy video and you can find it in youtube um let's take these two markers here okay so as we all know we will start with uh, tracker we need to drag these points here right here first so let's start just for these few frames um, center your marker here around that mark and let's take this one also here just around the, that mark and let's select the transform and the rotation okay and with shift selecting the two markers and let's start dragging them okay so let's do this here and top okay so we have idea an idea of the transformation of these markers like right here okay we will need this track for a lot so the first easy way here you can use the bent or auto bent tool using the p shortcut in order to enter this node okay if you're using um, photoshop you will know the clone tool if you don't know what it's a very easy uh, tool you can use this tool for about size 30 for example and make it visible for the all frames not only a single frame so all frames okay before starting to do a flow holding down alt you will find another circle right here so the circle that stayed you will paint from and the other one you will paint to so I have paint it to here, to here, to there, okay? So I will paint it to here, okay? Let's, we have a, a one here, clone, and let's do another one, to right there, okay? That's cool, so we have here no markers, but if you move here, you will find a very serious problem. That's because the roto bent itself still there it's not moving with the chroma so that's why you will need the tracker so you will open the tracker node and i need to take this animation into these uh, clones here so you will go to the transform node and transform tab here and there and you will hold down I will sit on the road and just come here to the translate hold down control and left click and drag it over there so you will have that animation into the roto bent animation close this and close that and let's have a look here you will find that green line the green line means that you will have the animation of the tracker into the animation into the roto bend and this node become to be a slave for that node and we will have a look at the animation you will find it stuck over there so there is no any side of the uh, markers so that's a very easy way and that's the first way so let's take that here and go back and let's have another look Second way we have the node transform it 
mask. Transform mask. Let's take it here. This nude is similar like the transform, the usual transform nude. But here I can use the roto, for example, O as a shortcut. Let's take it here. And I'll take the mask of the transforming mask into the roto. Okay. And then I will uh, draw a rectangle over there. And another rectangle over here. We have two. And then what? Then now let's open the transforming mask. And let's find out this handle. Using the control uh, key, let's take this here, close, close, close. And all I need to do is just to remove, or just to move, sorry, these two uh, rotors into another thing. So let's take it for example, right, like that. See? All I need is just to find an empty space with no markers and move these two to the place. Of course you will need the track node here in order to do the same as we done with the roto paint. Or you will find this problem here. See? That's because we don't move the transform as we move the tracker. So I need the animation of this tracker into the transform. That's it. Very very easy. See? Right. Okay, so I have the second way. Let's find another way and the third one. And I think it's the best one. Let's see. I need also the roto paint. So the three ways here you will need the roto paint or the roto. Okay. So let's take it here. And just draw a rectangle around the markers. One here and another one there. But I don't want it to be like that. I need them to be alpha. So the second one to be oh sorry, not pre multiply. I need here to be alpha. Both of them really good. Why? In order to go to the alpha and find the two of them. If you don't have it, so it's a problem for you. You can use the shuffle node in order to uh, make them at the alpha. So here I do have these two inside the alpha. And then all you need to do now, just go here. And find the node that marker removal. It's it's really really for these kind of problems. So let's do it. See, you don't have any markers here. That's cool. Why I think that this one is the perfect one? Because it's really uh, don't, doesn't find or doesn't leave any other um, markers here. Any other uh, different colors as you see here. The, all the greener area here is really really nice I, I can't find where the markers were here so using this nude you can do open the roto paint and just draw any other markers and it will be done just like that see Go here, go there. Very, very easy. Like that. And close, and you don't have any. For these four here, I do have some problems. Maybe because. So it's because the color itself. I can um, easily remove it using the color correction node. 
or the uh, chroma itself using the uh, any kind of the chroma in order to remove the kind of this a different color area but for the whole it's really really nice of course you will need the transform also in order to make this roto bend move with the chroma or you will find the problem like that and i think you will find yes you will find the other problems see so you will need here the tracker node inside the roto bend as we done for the first time i hope this video will help you in your work and make it faster and let's meet together again for another nuke tips and tricks bye bye